Today's video is going to help you set up an MLA format in your Google Docs. So first we want to make sure your MLA margins in a new Google Doc are correct. Usually the default is correct, but if somebody has been playing with the, uh, the formats, you might want to just go and double check your page setup. So under using the Google Docs, you're going to want to click on File, then click on Setup, and make sure that all of the margins are at one inch and then you're just gonna click OK. So you can see on the right hand side of my slide here what you should be looking at on your page where the margins, it says in inches, top, bottom, left, and right. Make sure all of those numbers are one, hopefully even setting as a default that should happen for you. Uh, make sure you're also in portrait orientation for an essay and your paper size is gonna be the eight and a half by 11 inch letter. Now, MLA requires double spacing in a document. I like to suggest just go ahead and do that before you even start typing. Uh, otherwise, you would have to highlight certain paragraphs. So let's just go ahead into the format section. So back to your Google Doc presentation, uh, click on format, and then under format, you're going to click on line spacing. And then you're going to notice this little right hand tab where it gives you the choice to click on double. And again, I have the picture on the right hand side of my screen. If you move through the formatting, the line spacing, and click on double, your document will now remain double spaced. So now that we have the document set up for success, how do we also set up our citation page properly? Well, you should be labeling your works cited page, and you can see it is going to be a title, and it should be centered. So capitalize the works and cited, and make sure it is centered. Now you're also going to have to move back to the left justification for your margins in order to start typing up the rest of your work cited page. As a reminder, it should already be in double spacing. We just talked about that, but please make sure your work cited is double spaced on every line. Please also make sure you have the one inch margins all around. We had previously discussed how to find that. And now you start beginning to type your works cited. You'll notice that they are in alphabetical order according to last name. And once you start moving on to the second and maybe even the third line of information in every citation entry, you should have what's known as a hanging indent. So you can see Hans here for the first one. It's three different lines. So the first line is not indented, but the second and third line for this Pixabay image is indented. The same thing with Matt Miller. The two lines that we have, the very first line is not indented, but the second line of information is. Same with the Purdue staff. The first line is not indented, and the second line of information is. So how do I create that hanging indent so I don't have to just, you know, try to figure it out with just by hitting enter? Well, that is where your docs ruler comes in. So first, make sure your Google Docs ruler is visible. If you don't see it, like you see on my top right hand of my screen, you can go in under Google Docs under the view. And once you click on view, you can make sure show ruler is checked. If it isn't, click on it, and then your ruler should appear beneath your menu bar, just like what you see at the top right hand of my screen. Now, you want to left indent on the ruler. So at the left margin, there is a light blue rectangle that is on top of a triangle. So in order to create a hanging indent, you want to select the cita citation that you want indented. You could do this to the whole entire document. So if you have all three of your works cited already typed up, just select them all. And then on your ruler, drag the left indent triangle, the light blue inverted triangle, to the right as far as you want the text to be indented. As you'll notice, that first line indent marker, the light blue triangle, will start coming along for the ride. So your selected text will all move to the right. That's okay. We're going to fix it in a minute. Once you have your hanging indent where it needs to be, now you want to drag that first line indent marker, the light blue triangle, back to the edge of the left margin. Now it will move independently of that blue triangle and a hanging indent will be created. So as you can see from my picture in the top right hand of my screen, you have your hanging indent at the one half inch page. Uh, that's where the, the down word triangle is and then we dragged that first line indent marker the light blue triangle all the way back to the edge of your one inch margin 
Now, once you have this hanging indent created in a Google Doc, you can use that formatting when pasting new additions to your citation page. So what you might want to do is place your cursor before or after the properly formatted text, what, depending on where it is alphabetized, uh, and then click the three keys at the same time of Shift, Control, and V. Now this tells the text to come in with the format of the receiving document, not from its original document or web page. And so here we have an example of a works cited. So as you can see, we have everything down on the left-hand side indented. Uh, so that would be our one-inch margins. But every time we go on to a second line for our information, we have a hanging indent. So the second lines of information have now been indented appropriately. It also is double-spaced. It is also properly formatted with the margins around the side. Your works cited example, if it looks a lot like mine, would be absolutely the, uh, the top grade. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you learned a lot about how to make proper MLA format in Google Docs. If you'd like to stay on the channel, please continue to watch some of my videos. Thanks for stopping by.